so the other day when Rigiji was in Mombasa, he made a statement which has been trending. <laughs> he said that um, all the hotels in Mombasa, uh, you know, the coastal region, and he went ahead and said Masai Mara, you know, have been booked. And so he was trying to bring to attention of the people that if you are thinking of going to book a hotel in Mombasa in December season, especially during this time that we are closing the year and some people will want to go and Jivinjari in Mombasa, <laughs> you know, he was trying to say, you know, that the hotels are booked. As we speak today, because of anchoring the country properly in the international stage, Kenya is now the destination of choice for investors and for tourists. And coming from the COVID challenge, where our tourism sector almost came down, I want today authoritatively to inform the people of Kenya that tourism has picked up for a good time. And as we speak today, all hotel rooms in Mombasa, in Masai Mara, have been booked up to February next year. So anybody who wants to travel to Mombasa for Christmas and you have not booked your room, you just have to go to your village and that's there with your ancestors. And we are encouraging the people of this great city of Mombasa and other cities to consider traveling up country and avail their homes here for tourists because that is good for the country in terms of foreign exchange earnings, in terms of creating employment. So ours is just to give that assurance on behalf of those who work with the president that all you are, the money that you pay will be used prudently. With those many remarks, please be upstanding and help me to usher in the president of the Republic of Kenya to make his remarks, Mr. President. And I was trying to look into the essence of him saying that. Because the last bit of the statement, you know, he used a very obscene, uh, obscene, obscene language. You know, he was saying, you, you have no place, you know, the hotels are booked and you cannot get any space. And so the only option that you are left with is go back to your home or village and enjoy with your ancestors. You know, that did not augur well. I think that was, first of all, reckless in the first place. And it was also not necessary. Okay, it was not necessary for him to speak in that manner, and it, would, it was not even necessary for him to make that statement because what has now come out is that it was a lie all along. And today, you know, you can now get the gist of why Rigadi made that statement. If I don't lie to you, the reason why he made that statement is because of the event that took to its speak today of the one that Raila Odinga attended, that is the Luo cultural event, Mombasa chapter, you know, very important. In fact, one of the events that Raila seldom uh, misses is that one. He can never miss it. In Mombasa, he always, uh, you know, attends it. He is ever present whenever uh, they are actually holding it. And I was just trying to dig deeper. I was just trying to question. I was just trying to see. Could it be that Rigiji was saying that... Um, you know, there, there are no spaces because he was aware that the event is going to be graced by Relo Dinga and it's going to be the biggest of its kind in Mombasa. Yet the other day, they were in Mombasa campaigning with the president and they were actually, you know, rejected. You remember the video where the uh, the residents of the coastal region were telling Ruto, you know, we, we, we mafuta, mafuta. He was trying to speak, but the people were silencing him. <laughs> Did you see that? Even the other time when Rigadi Gashago was trying to uh, defend Ruto of how Ruto is, you know, making foreign trips and people are complaining, yet, according to his stand, he wants Ruto to continue with the same trips. You know, it did not augur well, not adding up to concretely stand with what the people are facing. So if you look at the statement that he recklessly made, it was geared towards 
uh, you know, kind of try to bring caution to whoever was planning to attend <laughs> the new cultural, uh, you know, festival. I don't know how you can interpret it, but in a way, you can bring that aspect. Because today, it was it was at its peak, and we saw Raila Odinga attending it, and we saw people marrying. Um, we, we also saw how Raila Odinga went ahead and publicized it, and, and, and talked about it, and gave out how he was really enjoying. And it was telling you definitely that, you know, what Rikiji was saying in Mombasa, that is in Mombasa, is holding no water at all. We were that multitude, the people who joined Raila Odinga, the people who flew to Mombasa to attend the cultural event. Where did they get the rooms? How 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 did they secure the rooms? Or can we say that they had booked in advance or early enough? That can be one reason. But you know, we cannot specifically attach it to exactly what Rigiji was saying at the other time. And so for me, I was thinking that Rigiji meant, you know some scorecard with that statement of maybe giving a caution to the people or trying to uh, demoralize the people from accessing the uh, coastal region and spending their holidays otherwise you know i saw one of my friends uh, where we go to gym actually we have this platform it's called tezila adventures so tezila adventures is uh, one of my brothers and and one of my big boys eh? So he has this company that is organizing travels, organizing hikes and picnics, team building activities and the rest. And when I was showing him what Rigadi said, you know, he posted that it is a lie because, you know, there are very many rooms. So if you want to book a room in Mombasa, I can connect you. I can connect you with Tezela Adventures. You can reach out to him on Facebook. You can reach out to him on Instagram, Tezela Adventures. And you can also reach to him um, via the number that will be showing on your screen. So, Rigiji, that statement was very re reckless. It is holding no water at all. And Raila actually took an opportunity and showcased that, you know, Mombasa is still having space for you to go and enjoy, and enjoy over this holiday. I'll see you next, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great time. Oh, my God.